For the following exercises, solve the equations over the complex numbers. Okay, and then we have two examples here. So let's work with the first one. x squared equals negative 25. Now, they're telling me already that these are over complex numbers. We've done tons of problems that had to deal with complex numbers. We actually have a playlist. If you want to check out all the videos that we've done with complex numbers, the link is in the description. Um, but we know that complex numbers are non-real numbers, right? They're imaginary. They deal with that letter I, I for imaginary. And I'm going to put down at the bottom what we have learned from that playlist. That we know that I is just the square root of a negative one value. Remember, if we're taking square roots of any number... If we want a real value, the, the number has to be a positive number in here. So the square root of 25 would be 5. The square root of 36 would be 6, right? So when we're dealing with negative square roots, that's when we have complex numbers. That's when the i value comes in. So for this one, looks like I just need to solve for x, right? So maybe I'll just rewrite it because it gives me a little bit more room. It's an x squared. I want to get rid of the square. So what I'll do is I'll just take the square root, right? And now you see there's a problem here. x, because the square root and the square, they cancel each other. They're opposites. So I just get x would equal the square root of negative 25. Now, here's one other piece of information that we have to know. When we manually and when we literally write like draw, how you see how I had to actually draw the square root on both sides? If you have to draw the square root, your answer, when we start going deeper and deeper into this, can either be a positive or a negative. However, that is only possible if you actually draw the square root. But if they give you the square root of a number, right, and you did not draw the square root, so let's just say, the square root of 25 was x, and you have to solve for x, you only give the positive number here. Because if this was the equation, you didn't write that square root. Okay, so in this case, the answer would be a 5 only. But if you actually manually draw the square root like we just did, we have to give both of the answers. Technically, the x is the absolute value. And we've done tons of problems like those already. So everything is kind of coming together. Absolute values secretly give you the negative value as well. You could either be positive or it could be the negative. So I know that I'm going to have two answers here. Now we just have to deal with what, what the heck's going on inside, right? A negative 25. Uh-oh, right? We can't have a negative value in our square root. That's going to be a complex number. It's going to be non-real. So we have to break this up. So, how do I get this 25 away from the negative? Well, technically I can say that x is equal to the plus or minus square root of negative 1 times 25, right? That way I have two distinct numbers. I can say the square root of negative 1 and the square root of 25. Because once you have two things under a radical, you can break them up. So this would be equal to x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 25. And now we know that the square root of 25 is 5. And from what we learned before in the previous examples, or the previous playlist, the complex numbers, a square root of negative 1 always equals that imaginary value. So this guy this square root of negative 1 just equals an i. So it's basically i times 5, or you can say 5i. But remember, it's positive or negative. So I have two answers here. My x value could either be a positive 5i, or it could be a negative 5i. You have two answers. Okay, and that's the answer for the first one. 
Now, we just have to go to the second one. Here's the same exact idea. Let's see. Okay, so x squared equals negative 8. I have to get x by itself. I see that it's being squared, so I'm going to manually draw the square root on both sides. And when I do that, right, I know that I'm going to get two answers. But now it's a square root of a negative 8. Uh-oh. How do I break that up? Well, you're always going to break it up into 1 being negative 1 times 8. And now you can separate the two of them out, right? So you can say x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of just 8. We know what this part is, right? We know that the a radical of negative 1 is always equal to i. But now we just have to break this down even more because 8 isn't a perfect number. So maybe I'll do some work over here because I know that I'm getting close to the subscribe button. If you want to hit that button, you can. It's right here. But if not, don't worry about it. Still, still love you guys. Um, okay, so let's do the square root of 8. Now, hmm, I say, okay, I need to break this down, right? And can I break this down in which one of them is a perfect number? Let's see, hmm, ah, yeah, I, I can do the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. 4 times 2 is 8, right? And what's the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2, so this part is 2. And then this, you can't really do anything with it, right? The square uh, the square root of 2 is, you can't break that down even more unless you want the decimal answer. But they just come together. So this would be 2 rad 2. So we know now that this is 2 rad 2. And it's i times that value. And remember, with complex numbers, the, I, the, uh, the number always goes in front of the i. So this turns out to be 2 rad 2i, but plus or minus, so we got to get both answers. So x could either be 2 rad 2i, or x could be negative 2 rad 2i, and those are your two answers for this. Okie dokie. So guys, that's it. Just fun little math problem. Um, thank you so much for, you know, coming to the channel and viewing the videos and I hope we are getting across uh, you know all for all your math needs and we also have physics and chem if you want to check those subjects out too if you guys are in those subjects um, we're just trying to help you out all right um, so yeah I will see you guys all in the next lesson okay have a great day bye